Good morning, my name is Jacob Folger. I'm an artist sculptor and today we're going to make a rock art fairy garden. And we're going to use this rock here, which I have already painted black. But I'm going to show you some pointers on painting your stone or rock. And this is um, Blitz Studio Acrylic Black. And you can just use any kind of acrylic black uh, paint. And uh, you open it up and squeeze it out onto a paintbrush. Squeeze it out onto a paintbrush and just brush it on. And if you have little holes or striations or cracks in the rock, you can just work it in by kind of stabbing at it like this. And then brush it like this. And you can brush one side all the way around. And then when that dries, you can turn it over and brush the other side all the way around. And you should probably put two coats on it. And whenever you finish using your brush, even your brush, even for just a couple minutes, make sure you wash it in water because it will dry out on you. Now I paint it black because my finishes look really good on it, on black. So that's why I painted it black. And then uh, we're going to make a little fairy house. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of clay. This is polymer clay, Sculpey 3 brand. And again, working in black because of the way the finishes look on it. You always want to knead your clay, condition it, which conditions it, gets all the ingredients mixed up so that it bakes well and uh, sculpts well for you. Start off by rolling a ball. Like that. And then roll it in kind of an oblong shape. Like that. Kind of pinch it at the top so it's kind of shaped like a house. And then hold two fingers on either side and these two fingers on the other two sides and squeeze it. And that will make it kind of rectangular shaped. See how that's going to work on there. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Okay, I just want to make sure it's sized right. So I'm just forming it now. Okay, so we got that. Now we have to make the roof. So we're going to take a little bit of clay, roll it into a ball, roll it into an oblong shape, like this, and then squeeze it kind of flat, like this. Kind of flatten out the ends a little bit. And then you can put this on top of the peak, center it on there like that. And then squeeze it so it becomes the roof like that. It's very simple. Then we can make a little chimney for it. Roll a little ball like this and then roll it into an oblong shape like that. And put it on the side of the roof. Like that. And then you can take the back end of a paintbrush and put a little hole in the top like that. Now you can take the back end of a paintbrush 
let's see, let's use a bigger one here, or actually could use this tool here, and put a little window in. If you turn it like I'm turning it, like that, turning the tool, it won't create suction and it'll, it will come right out when you after you stick it in. Then you can use the back end of a paintbrush, lay it against the uh, base of the house, press it in like this, and then roll it back and forth to create the doorway like that. Now this is a fairy house, so we want it to look kind of whimsical, so we're going to kind of bend it, curve it off to the left a little bit, like that. Now, because you painted the stone, you don't really have to seal the stone like we normally do when we're working on a stone. Um, so the clay will stick to it pretty well, but let's just make sure that it's going to stick to it pretty well by using Sculpey Bacon Bond. And put just a little dab, just a little bit. Just waiting for it to drop off. There we go. Let's wipe that off. because this is standing straight up off the, off the stone so we want to make sure it's very secure to the uh, to the stone and just set it on there and it's in a uh, in a twisting motion like this and kind of press it into place like that I want to straighten it up a little bit. So there we go, like that. And that's what it looks like so far. So in case I didn't mention it, this is uh, Sculpey 3 brand polymer clay. And the reason why I use Sculpey 3 is because it sticks to stones really well. Okay? So now, let's see, what else can we do here? I think we're going to make a little pathway. So we're going to roll the ball of clay. It's just always a starting point for this method of teaching that I do. And then we're going to roll it on the table into a long noodle. Long skinny noodle. Just slide your hand along it as you roll it. Try to keep it nice and uniform. Okay. And we're going to put it at the doorway here. And kind of press it into place. And then just kind of curve it around just pressing it into place
And just terminate it there. We got a little pathway now. And just flatten it out a little bit. You take a sculpting tool if you can't get your fingers in there and just move it, kind of move it towards the door a little bit more. There we go. So we got a little pathway now. And let's see, what else can we do? How about if we add a little shrub, a little bit of shrubs around the house? So we'll roll a ball, roll into kind of a cone shape, and put it by the, uh, by the house. And then this one on this side. And then we can take a little tool like this here. It's a little ball tool, a little tiny ball tool. And just put markings in it to make it look like a shrub. You can support it with your finger if it's moving out of your way. There we go. That's kind of cute. And how about if we add uh, a mushroom or two? So what we do is we take a little ball of clay, pinch it on one side, and then pinch it at the top like this. So it forms a shape like that. And then we can take another piece and roll it into a cone shape like this. Let me see if I can find my wire. There it is. And my wire cutters, wherever they are. Uh, bear with me for a second. Here we go. It's always easier to join two pieces of clay with a little piece of wire. So we'll stick that in the into the cone of the uh, of the base of the uh, stalk of the mushroom, and then put the mushroom cap on like that. And maybe we'll put one right here. And then make another one. I made this one a little bit shorter to go next to this one here. There we go. And then we can add maybe another little uh, shrub right right over here roll it into a cone
put our markings in it. And maybe another one. Let's get one here, over here. By the, uh, by the path. There we go. So there we go. So now we'll put a little finish on it. Okay, we're going to put a little finish on this now. I'm going to get kind of a small to medium sized brush. And uh, bear with me for just one second while I get some wax. I've got some <clears throat> Johnson's Paste Wax here. And... Um, when I'm putting it on the stone, I want to um, use the wax. So um, I'm going to do the stone in purple. And this is Pearlex Pigments. brush it in there and I've got the the Prolex this is what the bottle looks like I've got the Prolex in a lid off to the side here and I dip it in get a little bit of wax on the brush dip it in dab it a little bit on the table and then brush it in really a pretty color and it's actually reflex violet as a color a little bit more wax a little bit more uh, purple or reflex violet wax and a little bit more reflex violet I call it purple all the time I just slip and call it purple I don't mean to mean to call it that but it, it looks like purple to me Now I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to show you a little bit about using a brush. When you when you're trying to go up again against an edge like that, you can take the brush and just flare it, push it against the stone and flare it and drag it along the edge so you don't get it on the uh, on the path. It's a path that's going to go a different color. So I just wanted to show you that. You just Start out here, flare it out by pressing down, and then draw it along the edge like that. See that? 
actually very easy to do. And then uh, I think I'm going to clean my brush really good now. Get all the wax off of it. I've got a rag in my lap and I'm doing that. And now I'm going to uh, get some bronze on it. This is antique bronze. And paint the uh, path bronze. This makes for a very pretty little sculpture. I'm sure would fly at a craft show. Whoops, I don't want wax. Don't want wax. Don't want wax. That was a mistake. Um, just the, uh, just the bronze on the polymer clay. And then I'm going to put it on the mushroom stalks too. I think uh, the house I'm going to do in and uh, do all red blue. Um, let's push this out of the way for a minute. Clean off my brush. Get a little do all red blue on there. There we go. I put a little bit too much, but that's all right. Um, get that out of the way. A little bit of duo red blue on there. It's kind of uh, the color is really interesting. It's it looks like blue, but it's if the light hits it a certain way, it can look purple. It can look um, you can support the the house with your finger. It can look purple, it can look pink. It's really pretty, really pretty color. Supporting the house with my finger. There we go. And I think I'm going to clean my brush and get a little bit of bronze and stab off the excess and then just put a little bit here on the chimney. This is an accent for the uh, for the house, and then I think I'm going to do blue on the mushrooms too. I want to get the brush, clean the brush again. Get a little bit of blue on the duo red blue on the uh, mushrooms here. clean my brush again and then I've got spring green here for the uh, for the um, 
shrubbery. There we go. Blow off the excess. Whoops. Our, our little rock art fairy garden. And uh, you can bake this if you look in the video description down below the video. You'll find a tool and supply list and also baking instructions. And just follow those instructions to bake your house and sculpture here. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I do many videos along these lines. Please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it. Leave me a comment. Share, me, share the video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun in your life. Be creative. And have a great day.